Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 15, VBO on how to import business objects in the Blue Prism. In this session, we will learn about the VBOs and how to import built-in VBOs into Blue Prism. This is the same diagram which I have been represented at the time of introduction of the RPA. VBO stands for Visual Business Objects. Blue Prism has built-in support for connecting to various kind of application user interfaces, including browser-based HTML interfaces, Windows interfaces, mainframe applications accessed via terminals, and interfaces built-in using Java. Whatever the interface technology, the adapter used to connect to an application is called VBO, nothing but visual business objects. How can we import visual business objects into our Blue Prism. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Let me go to Studio. If you see over here, we don't have any objects over here. So in this session, we will learn how to import VBOs. So let me go to File, Import, or as in a shortcut, Control i Now, choose the input file which we want to. We are already having built-in supported VBOs. Let me click on Browse, go to Computers, Save. Based on our installation, it is a 32-bit or 64-bit. Based on that, we are going to be redirecting Program Files or Program Files 86. As of now that I'm going for Program Files 80, Program Files. If you see over here, I'm having Blue Prism Limited. Double-click on that you will find Blue Prism Automate. So for all VBOs, we're having the folder called built-in folder when we are going to be installing. So that is called VBO. You can see over here, there's a lot of built-in VBOs are there. Based on your requirement, we're going to be selecting or we're going to importing the files. As of now, what I'm going to do in the next session, I'm going to work on the actions. So for that, I required BPA object data SQL server so that I'm going to select SQL server. If you're going to work on any MS Excel or Word, you're going to select it, the BPA object as MS Excel. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to import SQL server. Click on open. And if you see, you have selected the file and you're going to get the .xml files and then Click on next. Once it has been completed, it's imported successfully. Click on finish. Then you can see the objects or VBOs over there on your screen as data SQL server. Okay, let me open, uh, you know, if you're going to work on any kind of MS Excel, then in the same way, import and browse. And you can see MS Excel over there. Double click on that one and click and finally finish. If you see, I'm having MS Excel VBOs. What is the use of this one? So this is the kind of libraries. So where we'll have, you know, business subject is nothing but a kind of libraries, where we'll have the, all the functionalities that what we're having, and we can access all those things when you're going to be working with actions. Okay, so that what we have done, we have imported the uh, VBOs as of now. In the next session, we will work on the, on the action stage where we're going to connecting with the database and we're going to retrieve the data. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.